Hello, your call cannot be taken at the moment, so please leave your message after the tone. Welcome to Audit in the Audit in with me, Carolina. I'm not a lawyer, but I'm the very best at explaining the criminal justice system so that anybody can understand it. Today, you should know what illegal traffic stops are, passengers ID, resisting arrest, and the use of force. This episode stars the officers of the Glendale, Arizona Police Department. Let's jump right in, shall we? On July 26, 2017, at about 7.32 p.m., a family went to a Motel 6 located in Glendale, Arizona to reserve a room so they could enjoy some family time together. Johnny Wheatcroft was sitting in the passenger seat of a Ford Taurus. Anne and his wife and sons J.W. and B.W. were in the back seat. A family friend was driving. While still seated in the car, they were approached by Officer Schneider and Officer Lindsay and told they missed a turn signal back in the street. It was later proven that Officer Snyder lied. There was no way that he could have seen them miss a turn signal. This is considered an illegal traffic stop because the officers had no legal basis in order to interact or start any investigation with the passengers of the Ford Taurus. Johnny Weecroft did not commit a crime and there was no probable cause to suspect him of any illegal activity. But what started as a traffic stop is suddenly going to turn a lot worse. I'm just not yet. I'm about to get room. Okay. I'm about to get room. You guys got your IDs on you real quick. All of you. Hey, when you turn in here, man, just make sure you throw your turn signal on for us. Just, yeah, that's all it is. Nobody has their ID on them? No. Anything with your name on it? Yeah, just grab it out real quick. Nothing in the car there shouldn't be, right, anybody? No. Nothing? Why are we in the You don't have a driver's license? Uh, I don't. Do you have a driver's license? Sir. I have an ID. Thank you. 122. Good. Okay. Okay. Code 6 7116 North 59 Arizona Charles Bravo Bravo 2772. Can I go over to the room? Not, well, okay. just hang on a minute, okay? Yeah, just hang here for just a few seconds because we have you. Don't, re don't reach in your bag, man. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. He says you don't have no ID. I don't want no, you to no, reach no, in no. there. What's your name? The passenger is going to ask the officer why they need to give the officer their identification if they had done nothing wrong. This question is constitutionally protected by the First Amendment. The officer then lies and says it's a requirement, and that if he doesn't show it, he threatens to take him down to the station to fingerprint him. So if you're a passenger in a car and the driver gets stopped, you are not obligated to show the police officer your identification. Uh, why are you, why am I in the ambulance? Well, well, you don't have ID and then we, I made, it, we made a, yeah, if you're a passenger in a vehicle, yeah. you need to have well, your ID. Well, yeah, I have an ID, I don't have to give it to you. I mean, I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, well, I could take you down to the station and fingerprint you. Because we made a traffic stop on the vehicle, brother. That's I it. Mean, I didn't do anything wrong, I'm not doing nothing. I'm just here trying to help Listen, you. Listen, we can do this one of two no, okay, ways. Okay, relax for me, please. I mean, no, I'm going to relax. Listen. Listen to me. We're in a, don't. Okay, I don't want you stuffing anything down in between the seat like you're doing. Relax. Keep your foot in there. Okay, stop, please. Here's the deal. You tense up, I'm going to. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Relax your arm, okay? Don't start. Listen. A couple of things. One, okay, you don't have no ID on you, okay? I'm trying to do this as easy as we can. You already done yeah, stuffed something down in no, your backpack and you stuffed something down in the seat. Backpack, I promise you. Okay, I are you going to fight or not? No, I'm not. Okay. But I promise you, I didn't stuff something down in the seat. We're going to do this. Okay, okay. I just watched you. No, you didn't, sir. You... Okay, listen. He's going to fight, dude. No, I'm not, bro. Ow, just wait. I'm not fighting. Relax. Okay, babe, I'm not. Don't pull away. Hey, get your teeth out. I'm not, bro. Resisting arrest occurs when a person interferes with a law enforcement officer who's attempting to perform a lawful arrest. So if you're being arrested and you intentionally try to prevent that, you're going to get charged with resisting arrest. Although put in a painful armbar hold and being twisted in his seat with a seatbelt still on, this gentleman is still not resisting arrest. In fact, through the entire ordeal, this gentleman will not resist arrest. 
No, I'm not, bro. I'm not. You are. I'm not. I promise you that. You got a taser on you right now? He's not. He's not. I'm not doing nothing, man. I'm not doing nothing, bro. I'll tell you right now. Man, what the fuck is wrong with you? Relax. I am. Dude, stop, motherfucker. He's not going to fight. Stop. 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 to be protected from excessive force is found in the Fourth Amendment and the Eighth Amendment. The Supreme Court knows that force might be necessary in some situations, but the force has to be proportional to the threat. So when the threat stops, the force needs to stop. 
I'll let you decide whether excessive force was used in this situation or not. Oh, and behind. Oh, and behind. Relax. Oh. Stop being a big oh. baby. That's all for it. Yep. That's all for it. Tell me how many million. Yeah, I think that is for I can't four. breathe. I can't breathe. Okay, you're fine. You're talking. Gloves. I'm good. Mm -hmm. I've got him. This car right there. Right. Yeah, it's fine. Ow, oh, my wrist! God damn it, man! Please! Hey, do we search him real quick? Um, I did not so as far as searching him. He's got just another probe hanging, look, looks like. Let's let's pull him out and search him real good. He let's let him calm down for just a sec. Yeah, and we'll I just dropped the probes on the ground. Yeah, there's probes on there. Which related to him? This car right here. So what happened to the Reekwafts and what happened to Snyder, the cop? Well, the Reekwafts, well, they want some money from the city. And an undisclosed amount there, and it was upwards of a uh, half a million dollars. The cop, on the other hand, he was forced into some early retirement, and then they pressed assault charges against him, which he pled guilty to in the year 2023, January. So we still don't know the sentencing on that. So you'll have to check back. Thanks for coming in, guys. I appreciate everybody being here. Hope you enjoyed it.